Hey Geeks, this is Jim at MajorGeeks.com. I wanted to talk to you today about uh, Bamboo Lab Studio uh, and trying to increase the color penetration depth when you're painting it uh, or the paint depth with the paint tools. Uh, hard to describe what the, the problem is because uh, uh, typically you have a tool to solve it. But in this case, I, I could not solve the problem without this super simple little trick um, but I I suppose uh, some uh, background is in play so I had this little uh, keychain friend of mine's got a cat and I I wanted to turn to this this image the project is by uh, Rad Staley here I wanted to turn it into a little keychain but uh, uh, her cat's orange not not black so so there you go right and little backtracking here uh we're using uh bamboo studio uh which is uh from bamboo labs they're the software that runs their bamboo lab uh, 3d printers uh for those uh not familiar with it i've, I've had several uh some artilleries uh, several creatalities uh currently the bamboo a1 which is is pictured here is my my favorite i love this thing and uh it has four color uh a, a module that does uh four colors that, of your choice that you can put in and, and for those who don't know what happens it, this is called filament uh it looks a little bit like trimmer line and it goes through this tube and this hot end uh heats it up and layers the plastic at 0.2 millimeter heights in in my case for my printer um and then it'll pull that back and say you want to print some blue and so on and so forth in, in different layers. So it feeds it through the tube, pulls it out, feeds the next one in, pulls it out, so on and so forth, uh, which is super cool. So if anybody's looking for a 3D printer, um, you know, uh, this, this is a great model. I, I, I just enjoy very much use it for all sorts of things. Uh, you know, repairs around the house. I made a uh, handle for my outdoor faucet, a, a repair cap for my uh, camera, uh, but usually I use it for gifts, right? And in this case, we're we're gonna use this. And uh, again, one of the nicer things about uh, Bamboo Labs is you can go to their website, uh, Maker World, and grab whatever you like. Like uh, there's there's just thousands of models. Um, that you can download, play with, and then uh, when you see one that, that you like, uh, those are for laser printing, but don't do that, kids. Um, let's say uh, let's say you want to make uh, make make some gaming chopsticks, right? Uh, you can either download the files or you can open it right up in your Bamboo Studios. This is what I'm doing and how I got to. Uh, to this point so back to what we were doing um coloring an object in bamboo studio is pretty easy you know here's the filaments i currently have loaded white gray black and orange for the cat which is what i want and you just select the color you like and you can either draw it in or they have a nice build you know the sphere tool triangle tool and the uh, height range tool we'll get to that in a second but typically i just use the uh fill tool and it's pretty good and if it misses something you know just take your little paint tool put it over the top all right so bamboo studio is what's called a slicer so you have your 3d image that you create in your 3d program like blender or something and you put it into the slicer that then produces it into a code that your 3D printer can understand, in this case, G code. And it tells it, okay, this is the height. I'm at layer one, and I want you to print black and so on and so forth. And when I get to this layer, I want you to put white or, or whatnot. And quite often, um these tools these paint tools work perfectly but in this case with this flat tool and this flat model it wasn't so good so here's i'll show you what happened so once i got it and i painted it i slice it and you can preview what your slice is and you can see that's how those those layers work right so it's printing black and in these layers print white and those players and you're good to go but 
when the final product came out, it looked horrible. It looked like this. So this was a leveling problem, but you can see here on that second print where I added in the hook, it's almost translucent. You can, you can see through the print. So you can see some black through the orange. It's not adhering correctly. You can see some black through the white. Uh, again, the gray isn't adhering correctly. It's probably, you know, trying to mix matte and silk. I probably shouldn't do that, but whatever. Um, but it just, just looks bad. It's not good enough for a gift, right? Um, so I figured, okay, what's going on? And, and you can see here, you again, you have uh, uh, the layer heights are 0.2 millimeter, right? So if... I'm coming down here and I print at 16, 15, 15, 14, 12. I only have 0.2 times four or less than a millimeter of height of colors that aren't black. So that that's the problem, right? So, you know, we need thicker orange, thicker white, thicker gray to cover up that black a little get, bit and give it some depth. So I went back into the paint tool and there's really not a good way to do this. One workaround I thought was gonna gonna be the to paint the edges, right? So I'm gonna fill the oops, I don't want gray, I want orange. All right, I'm gonna fill the edges here with uh, orange and see what happens. When I slice it, do 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 we look here we get a little bit it comes into these triangles a little bit but without wasting a lot of time you can see if i get a little bit all the way around it's going to leave this center area still black and it doesn't quite work it this edge looks fantastic but the center looks bad so that's not going to work um the other thing too was well i fixed this thinking of the height um i was like there we go. We want that orange. There we go. Um, I was thinking of using the height tool, but the height tool paints at a width, right? So if you look here, I'll turn it to gray so you can see. Maybe zoom in a little bit. See how that's going to paint at that width, which which is fine on, on some items that are raised, but because this is flat, if I do that, it's going to take the whole top and turn it gray, which is not what we want, right? So, so that tool doesn't work. So what we found, found out is that there's no way to adjust the depth of the paint on Bamboo Lab Studios. So it's just going to paint on that uppermost layer. Um, you have a couple of different options that you can do at this point. I tip what a professional would do is would open up something like uh, Tinkercad, right? And they're going to import this into Tinkercad and then export it as a, an SVG. Once you get it in as an SVG, you can break up these pieces, select them out as separate layers and uh, create a new model putting those back in it's a bit of a it's a bit of a pain to do it's time consuming but if you do it right and you get it right then the model's going to work perfectly uh going forward in this case it was kind of weird because i export as a svg and and you can see when i open it up in uh inkscape nothing's there uh thought that was weird open it up in uh, adobe illustrator and and there it is it's 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 white it's uh a single object so however the designer originally made it um that's how we go and i'm wondering if he just didn't hand paint it which is why we're having this sort of issue now let's uh backtrack a little bit let's say for example here i'm working on this little wobble mouse right and i want to print it red and purple and I, now i want black eyes so this is pretty simple to do so i'm going to take my fill tool and i'm going to make these whoops i want, I want to make these stop clicking so fast and i'm going to make the nose here right so i filled that and i got red ears and i got purple and let's say i just quick slice the plate this isn't going to be much of a problem you can see here that 
everything that's supposed to be red is red everything that's supposed to be purple is purple and so on and so forth so it looks pretty good when you're done right and the depth of that the eyeballs are pretty good right and those come out come out very well so it works works out okay but in, going back here these are awful so how do we fix that this took me forever to figure out so i can't fix it with an svg i can't fix it with depth there is no depth blah 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 so we're going to go back here into prepare i'm going to go over to strength and increase the sh the top shell layers so um like i said when we did the slice here and you know, we could see that it's down right so if we increase the top shell layer to something you know maybe halfway down or a little better that's going to increase the layers of white the layers of orange and the layers of gray so we put the the uh we put the black back a little bit which um then gives you more depth of color so if you slice the plate now you can see here we slide all the way down deep we're down here and we start getting some white some orange and we're good to go right so it looks pretty sweet and you go over here there's what the final product look like so you can see it's much better much better print you can't see that uh the lines through there's no translucency um it's a nice deep color um you know could have printed out a, a little better but you know there's a little sketching right there that i'm not that happy with so we'll clean that up in the next one i think the i think this orange one clean that up pretty good but well, you can see there was there was a different version of it and it, it's just better you know it, it's just clearly a better print so that's how you do it that's how you will uh increase the paint paint depth on a flat print in bamboo studio so uh they said it couldn't be done it is done so there you go hope that helps somebody out hope you learned a little something about 3d printing which is my my favorite little hobby and uh until next time geek it till the megahertz